and welcome back to the Osborne Wood Products Builder Studio. I'm Tim, and uh, today we're just putting a, a few uh, legs on a tabletop. So we've got a, a hard maple tabletop. Um, it would look absolutely gorgeous uh, with a stain on it. And um, here we have some metal legs and um, product descriptions and links and all of that are going to be below. You can um, check out all this stuff on osbornwoodproducts.com. And so all I've done is, um, this is such an easy build. <laughs> uh, literally just got my top, um, got my legs um, centered, um, you know, left to right. And uh, just decided how far to come in from my ends here. I came uh, 10 inches uh, from the end of the table to the, the outside of the legs. Um, made some tiny little marks on the bottom side of my table and I'm ready to screw these things in. I'm just snugging down all of these screws and obviously picked a, a length of screw that's uh, about as long as I can go, uh, you know, um, without um, having to worry about them coming through the, the tabletop. Um, but yeah, I always want, you know, kind of um, as much strength as I can out of the situation, right? So, uh, Yes, that hard maple is hard. So, just about done. Um, normally, uh, just for ease of finishing, I would uh, finish my tabletop, get it all completely finished, and then uh, do this as the last step. Um, but you get the idea. So, um, it's really easy. I actually popped that screw off. I'm going to have to put another one beside it. That's all right. It's actually really easy to make beautiful furniture. Um, just, you know, pick and, and, and choose what, uh, what components you want to go together, um, get them shipped to your house and, um, in a garage, um, just a tiny little workshop, even in your living room, if you need to, um, you can, you can make some beautiful furniture. And, um, Got uh, all right. Put another one right beside that guy. Oh yeah, that's good. Common problem with hard maple. You pop pop the head of that screw right off. You get a little bit too much. So um, yeah, that's it. These are super sturdy, um, I, amazingly. Like I, I, I'm amazed by how sturdy these are. Um, they look so simple, uh, but uh, they are rock solid. I could, if I was strong enough, I could pick up the whole table. Um, you know, just like um, by wrenching on that. So um, pretty impressive, pretty neat, and uh, amazingly quick and easy. Okay, so here's our table. Um, this is actually a 36 inch height. And as you can tell, um, this is a really nice working height. Um, so like for instance, um, a work table in a, uh, a large kitchen area or 
any kind of area. I mean, it, it could, you know, you could use this for crafts or, um, or even in a wood shop or, or anything. Um, it is really sturdy. Um, as simple and, and clean as it looks, it doesn't really look like it would be sturdy, especially like side to side, but I'm actually sliding it on the floor, um, trying to get it to wiggle. Um, it will not. So that's pretty impressive because this top is stinking heavy. It, it, it's a hard maple one inch top. Um, so that, that's pretty impressive to me. Um, so uh, this could be used as uh, uh, an eating area, obviously, but you would not have your typical chair height. You would have like a, a, a stool height. Um, chair or stool around it, okay? Um, but yeah, very, very nice. Very quick and easy actually also. So yeah, this is available uh, in a, a standard, I, I say standard, like a 29 inch height. Um, so uh, a dining table height. Um, I believe you can get the same leg in that height also. And um, yeah, so, um, you could just make all kinds of tables, have a work table and a dining table and, you know, a card table and, <laughs> but, uh, yeah, very, very quick and easy.